What is up guys, Flippin' Life TV back here with you. We are here with Mr. Jacob. We're gonna be doing some fishing today for largemouth bass. We're using frogs, some moving baits. Hopefully we can just stick to that top water. Nice grassy day. Got a little bit of cloud coverage, but it's still hot out. So let's see what we can get. Oh. Yeah, you're right. Scaring all sorts of little froggies. First cast. First cast, guys. Instantaneous, right when the frog hit the water. Ah. Uh. Bam! Come here, buddy. Eat that frog. Look at that. Beautiful fish, guys. Boom. <clears throat> Get that frog out of his mouth. Bam. Look at that, guys. First fish of the day. Nice, healthy, large mouth. I'm gonna go ahead and get him back in. Fish flip. If your frog doesn't look like that, they didn't eat it right. All right, guys. Jacob's been talking. It's time to show him what's here. You guys need to show him what you got. I don't care whose frog you bite. <laughs> Frog butt. Frog butt. Frog butt. What are you doing, bro? Bro, I'm tickling this frog and he's laughing about it. He's just turning sideways. He's like, ah, why are you poking my side? He's not even freaking out. What are you doing, bro? Is that itchy? Look at this. I'm itching a frog. There he goes. Now he's walking. <laughs> I just itched a frog. <laughs> you guys ever itched a frog? Said he chased something up into this grass here. Ooh, some bluegills on the edge on this side. Slurp me and I didn't even feel it. Oh, there's another one right behind him trying to take it out of his mouth. Boom. Woo. Shoop. Bam, guys. Eater, eater, frog, eater. Boom. All right, guys. Get this dude back in. Thank you, buddy. Let him go, let him grow. Got a storm coming in. So this is pre Thunder, lightning, storm, lots of rain, post 105 degrees. <laughs> Dude, that fish tried to like sneakily slurp it. I didn't feel nothing, I didn't hear nothing. I just tried to twitch it and I'm like, what the fuck is pulling back? <laughs> oh, oh, was that you? No, like right behind you. Oh man. I see your wake. Told you. I'm not stupid. I knew you were there. I got you. <laughs> Ugh, this one waked behind it and then stopped. So I stopped my frog, gave it a couple more twitches, and well, bam. Nice, beautiful largemouth, bro. Look at that green. I just love the color of these guys. This green is my favorite color. My truck has this tone of green up here. And I'm just in love with it. <laughs> so when you're frog fishing like this, try to spend as much time as possible paying attention to the frog itself. Not just when you're twitching it, but in general. The fish right before now was a great example of that. Is even though I was 
creating a big stir with the wakes of my frog because I knew what wakes were mine because I was paying so close attention I was able to determine there was uncaused wakes by something else right behind me slightly to the side and so I paused for an extra second and I was able to utilize that opportunity and catch another fish and so those are how you kind of capitalize on missed opportunities and catch more fish throughout your day ah I'd love to blame it on the new braid, but I probably just suck. Oh! I wasn't even paying any attention. Nice, dude. Heck yeah. Yeah, no skunk for me. Boom. No skunk here. Bam. Deuces. That's my sign that catfishing is going to happen. They're like, all right, here's your bass. Here's your bass. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, bluegills destroyed that grasshopper. Some topwater bluegill action right there. All right, guys, today was a fun adventure. Thank you so much for tuning in on today's adventure for frog fishing. We've decided that we're gonna go catch some catfish and uh, we're on our way out. So we're gonna go get some bait. We're gonna go get on the catfish and make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Stay tuned for next episode to see the continued adventure.